I'm not sure why there's two boxes. Both of them are extremely light. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's a joke. We're gonna get to that in a second. This no date sub is sold. So that's a rose gold root beer, full rose gold. An absolute stunner of a watch. You just can't go wrong with it. This is a 36 millimeter. It's a smooth bezel. It's the 116500LN, commonly known as the Panda. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what watch we got in. Okay, so uh, we got some new stuff in and got a few updates for you guys on a few couple of pieces. Now, this right here is supposed to be, I don't, I'm not sure why there's two boxes. Both of them are extremely light. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's a joke. It came from a dealer and it was supposed to be a two-tone Daytona full set. It doesn't look like it. I'm not really sure how this could possibly be in here. I, I don't even, I don't even know. I, like, I, I'm gen, I don't even know what's going on. I've been excited to get it in. It was multiple days late. It came from London. It says security check. This is all genuine reaction right now. I'm a little stressed out about this. I'm concerned that the watch didn't even, it's not even in there. We're gonna get to that in a second. One good piece of good news right here is that this no date sub is sold. We made a decent profit on that. We did make over 10%, which is fantastic. Now, when it comes to pieces like that, it's anywhere between the 10 to $12,000 range. Um, I believe our cost was around 10 and we ended up selling it for under 12. So we didn't make like two grand or anything like that, but. You know, we made a pretty good, uh, uh, you know, profit on that piece, which is nice. This one right here, we got in. This is the one two, excuse me, the no, the one two six seven one five CHNR. So that's a rose gold root beer, full rose gold. So this one is actually fully stickered on the back, um, and so this has been completely untouched, uh, which is incredible. This one isn't just. I mean, it's not just good condition. This one is mint condition. This is a phenomenal watch. I'm gonna throw a price out there because we're ready to get this thing moved. We're, we wanna get it moved. It's a 2021, uh, so it's got the new green card. It comes with everything, including the white tag. We are selling this watch for $36,500. $36, that is a phenomenal price on this piece. So if you've been wanting a rose gold root beer, this is your chance, it's your opportunity. Feel free to jump on it. I've got one more deal for you guys that I wanna throw your way. This right here. This is the new reference, 126508. That is an all gold, beautiful, beautiful Daytona. I love the white gold with, or excuse me, the white dial with the yellow gold. I think it's an absolute stunner of a watch. It's classic looking, you just can't go wrong with it. So we are selling this one for a smidge under 46,000. So that's a great price for this watch. If you guys are interested, please reach out. I would love to service you guys and I would love to get this move. So uh, let me know on those two pieces. So those are the ones that we have some special pricing on. So let us know if you're interested, that'd be great. Uh, another one that we got in that we'd love to show you and uh, possibly sell. So this is a 36 millimeter, it's a uh, smooth bezel. Uh, this is a very, very nice piece. And of course it comes on the beautiful Jubilee bracelet, Wimbledon dial. Uh, it says reference number 126, uh, 200 and we're selling this one for under 10 so we're at 9,500 so if you guys are interested in that feel free to reach out would love to of course sell that one to you so if you've been looking for a, a Rolex just kind of checks all the boxes but you're not having to pay the premium to have that fluted be uh, that fluted bezel you know I think it's a really great option so uh, you know if you're interested here's the number right there it goes right to me call text would love to talk to you guys and see if we could work some deals out. Okay, another one that we got in, excuse the mess guys, I mean, we're just kind of going with the flow right now. Before we get all this stuff processed, we just kind of wanted to show you new stuff we had in, stuff we had, we had great, some great pricing on. Let's talk about this one. Uh, this one is not the new reference, it's the old reference. This has been a very hot piece for quite some time. And it's the 116500LN, also known, commonly known as the Panda. This is the Panda Daytona. Now, they do have the new reference, which we don't have. This one is the old reference. Um, we just sold one of these and then got another one in, and actually, we're getting another one in tomorrow. Uh, this one is a 2023. Uh, we are selling this one for 29.5, and the one that we have coming in uh, tomorrow, I think, is gonna be an even more competitive price point. If you guys are interested in the Panda, you don't lose out on the deal. Hopefully, you reach out and we can make you happy. You make us happy. Make it a win-win. Um, so that's kind of what we have uh, for those. And then before opening up whatever the heck is going on here, I had a quick lunch with a friend of ours who's been on the channel uh, quite a few times. Uh, it looks like this outer box was uh, unfortunately compromised. Now, not a big deal. I've got more. So I will, I will replace that. It'll be uh, in perfect condition. But 
luckily. The outer box isn't the issue. It's really this box that is in perfect condition. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what watch we got in. Boom. Now, if you can't tell, that's not stainless steel. That is rose gold. And it's a combination of green and rose gold. It's a little bit more of a muted green. Now, I do like the color combination of this watch. I think it's actually quite attractive. You know, we had a code come in you know, not too long ago, and it was, it was a nice piece, and it was a chrono. You know, I feel like these kind of get a bad rap, but this is, without a doubt, it's still a highly impressive piece. Now, this one right here is absolute mint condition. Not only does it have an open case back where you can see the movement, now, is this the most impressive movement in the world? I mean, have I, have I never seen a movement like this before? Is this new to my eyes? I mean, not necessarily, but uh, the finishings of AP and everything are still outstanding, and this is still a very impressive movement. Now, this isn't one that necessarily is one that you get after being on the wait list. I think a lot of us would know that. The resale value is a little bit less than what you would get from AP. If you've actually had interest in a code 1159, and you just haven't really wanted to pull the trigger with AP just because you feel that it's a little bit overpriced, I think this is a great option. Now, I'm not gonna tell you what we're selling this for. I'm gonna leave a little bit of suspense. If you're interested in this particular watch, rose gold, the muted green, comes with box, and it comes with an extra strap, it comes with a travel case, it comes with a lot. So, you know, if you guys are interested in this, reach out, here's the number. You can just pause the video, you can text it. Uh, just let me know, and we would love to see if this watch would be a great fit for your collection. Um, I, I do wanna get to this. I'm a little concerned because I've already waited several days to get this in, and it was, I was, it was promised to come uh, days in advance, uh, but it, or not days in advance, but uh, days prior to today, and, and it didn't. Uh, and so then I've, have, I've been having to talk to my client on, on when it's gonna come in. Now, these are very light. I, you know, it's saying it was security checked, you know, it's coming from London, Canada. I mean, it's coming from all over the place. And so I don't know why there's two boxes. I don't know what I'm about to open up and see. I don't know, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, I'm a little flustered because, uh, I mean, first and foremost, uh, most people use FedEx, they don't use DHL. Now DHL is typically done for international transactions. I was aware that this was in fact coming from London, but why there's two packages, why you know it's this and that i i honestly just can't say i have no idea but i'm gonna go ahead and just open up these boxes and just see what's going on okay um so we have this folded up wow okay um So we have it, uh, we have it wrapped up, and it's clearly, you know, been protected, which is great. I don't know why it's separated from everything else, unless that's just simply the way that they do it. But that would explain why this was so light. I don't have the full set here, um, and that's the problem. So um, I'm hoping at minimum we're gonna have white tag and uh, and card with the bracelet is what I'm hoping for. Regardless, we're gonna have to do some, some price negotiation here because clearly we were supposed to get the entire thing. So, um, okay, so I, uh, so I mean for packaging purposes, maybe it's cause it's international, I don't know. I mean this is the most, this is absolute garbage, this is trash. I don't even wanna give this a rating. Okay. Well, thank God, uh, it at least comes with the important stuff. So, for me, what I mean. So, what I mean by that is it, it has white tag, it has card, it has the bracelet, and of course, it has the watch itself. This was all wrapped, so, I mean, it's in absolute flawless condition, but, you know, this is a little bit of a different way that I've received watches in the past. Now, is it a deal breaker, is it a problem? No, it's not, but I am going to have to replace the box. Well, not replace it. I'm going to have to put in a box. I'm going to have to put in booklets and everything that's, that's OEM. It was supposed to come with those things. This is going to an end user. This isn't going to another dealer. So, I mean, could you imagine purchasing a watch from us and then this is what you receive? 
Of course not. So, I mean, you're going to receive everything. And so it cost me money to do those things. And so this was not disclosed by the dealer. That's very unfortunate. And you know, the, the cost of replacing all that, it's not just a monetary thing. It's also a time thing. It's also like, well, now I have to figure this out when really in reality, you should have just said, this is watch card only. When that happens, there's usually like a three to $400 deduction on the price. Or if it's, hey, I can throw in a box, it's 250 to 300 bucks. We've gotten watches from Hong Kong, China, Dubai, Canada, Mexico, Rolex is all over the world. Now, this is the first time that I've received a watch that went from London to Canada to the US. And so you have multiple different customs for these watches to go through, and there's different stipulations and conditions that have to be followed. So it's very likely that, what's re that what was required was that the bracelet be separated from the watch itself. I don't know the exact conditions, but you know this isn't alarming for me and it may look very peculiar to the viewer or someone who doesn't deal with this every day. This is just the way that the business goes when you're dealing with international shipments and all of that. At the end of the day, here's what matters. What matters is that this is an authentic watch and that it's in the condition that it's supposed to be in. It comes with card, it comes with the white tag. I will be, re I will be um, adding the additional accessories uh, such as box and papers and booklets and all of that. Unfortunately, that was not a part of the deal. And so I'm gonna call the dealer, I'm gonna say, look, you sent me a picture of a full set. I have a watch and a bracelet separated with a card and a white tag. I need the rest of this stuff or better yet, actually, I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna need, I'm just gonna say, look, I don't have time to get that stuff from you, but we're gonna have to talk about price because this is not what, what was represented. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and just have that call right now and you know, obviously be professional and courteous, but at the end of the day, you, know, you can't say that you're gonna sell me a full set and then send this. So. Okay, so this watch came in and it was in phenomenal condition. It was brand new like it was supposed to be, but you know, they had shipped it kind of a different way since it's international. The bracelet was, it had eight links on one and four on the other. Daytona's come with 12 links, seven on the Rolex crown, 12 o'clock side of the watch, and then five on the six o'clock. Uh, they had eight and four. So I, you know, I fixed that so that, you know, when you uh, hold the watch like this, you know, it's perfectly centered. Otherwise it was like, uh, it was like that you know, or yeah, it was like this. So it was kind of goofy anyways. And this is a really, really sexy watch. I mean, it looks great. I'm really excited for the client. So congratulations to the client. This was supposed to be a full complete set from the dealer and it wasn't. Now we are prepared for situations like this. And although we still are prepared and we have everything that we need to make it complete, it's still a little annoying and I don't wanna to have to dig into our inventory to, to make it a complete set. It's not the biggest deal in the world, it's just a little bit of a nuisance. You know, this right here, it comes with the card, but uh, I'm gonna go through, so like this is an older style, so we can't use that one. Uh, this one right here is the newer style, which is good. Uh, so I can go ahead and put the card in there. There we go. And something else that we need is a Daytona booklet for this model, Cosmograph, Daytona. So yeah, check on that, good. Good, and then of course throw in the green tag and we've got a complete set. So we're gonna get this all squared away, wrapped up and get this shipped out. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw all of that in there. Close this up and this is ready to go. So going to be shipping this one out today and uh, congratulations to the client who's receiving this. Now, unfortunately for the dealer that we got this from, he made this a little bit more difficult for me, which delayed the shipping and delayed getting it ready for the client, which means unfortunately for him, there's a delay in me wiring him. So it is what it is, that's what happens. So anyways, let's get this packaged up and then uh, we've got a few things to take care of. With all that said, if you guys are interested in consigning, if you're interested in selling, buying, trading, or us sourcing. We do all five of those things and we do it with the utmost excellence. We would love to work with you guys. We would love to work with you and see if we'd be a good fit with you. I believe that we will be, so please feel free to reach out. Uh, here's the number right here. We say it every week. You know, We wanna make sure that you guys know how to reach out to us if you even have a thought of, man, maybe I should reach out. Maybe, we, maybe I can work with these guys. Maybe you know, they can help me out with this or that. We would love to see if we'd be a good fit for you. So anyways, reach out. Here's the number.